The next problem is integration of x into cos inverse x. Whenever you have two problems in multiplication, you use integration by parts. The integration by parts says integration of f of x into g of x can be calculated as f of x into integration of g of x minus integration of integration of g of x into differentiation of f of x dx. So, the trick in integration by parts is selecting the first function and the second function. First function should be easier to in easier to differentiate. First function should be easier to differentiate and the second function should be easier to differentiate. As a rule of thumb, whenever you have inverse trigonometric functions, you select that as your first function. So, f of x will be cos inverse x and g of x will be x. Now, let us put the values in the formula and move the solution. So, you get integration of x cos inverse x dx equal to first function that is cos inverse x into integration of gx. So, gx is x. So, integration of x dx minus integration of integration of x dx into d by dx that is differentiation of cos inverse x and dx. Now, we need to find the values of these two. We know that integration of x raised to n dx can be given as x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus c. In our problem, n equals 1. So, you get integration of x dx as x squared by 2 plus c. Let us call this equation number 1. Next, we need to find out the differentiation of cos inverse of x. The differentiation of cos inverse x is minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. Now, let us call this equation number 2. When you substitute the values of equation 1 and 2, you get integration of x cos inverse x as cos inverse x into integration of x dx. Integration of x dx from equation 1 is x square by 2 minus integration of integration of x dx. Again, it is x square by 2 into differentiation of cos inverse x. Differentiation of cos inverse from equation number 2 is minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square dx. Now, we need to simplify the second term and integrate once more. So, first let us rearrange the terms. First term can be written as x square by 2 cos inverse x minus let us take 1, 1 by 2 outside integration. So, x square into minus 1 is minus x square upon square root of 1 minus x square dx. I want to make the numerator and denominator similar. So, I am going to add 1 and subtract 1 and then I am going to separate the numerators like this. So, I want to write as x square by 2 cos inverse x minus 1 by 2 integration of 1 minus x square upon square root of 1 minus x square dx minus integration of 1 by square root of 1 minus x square dx. If you have seen the differentiation formula, let me show it to you. Yes. So, if you look here, d by dx of cos inverse x is minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. You know that integration is opposite of differentiation. That is, if I integrate this term, that is, if I integrate minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square, I will get cos inverse x. 
if you look here we have the same thing so minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square this will give me cos inverse x so let's write that so I can write as the first term will remain same x square by 2 cos inverse x minus 1 by 2 integration of now this term will simplify to square root of 1 minus x square dx minus let's say plus integration of minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square dx and we know we know that integration of minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square is cos inverse x now let's use this identity and simplify this write the above equation as x square by 2 cos inverse x minus 1 by 2 integration of square root 1 minus x square dx plus this term is cos inverse x so cos inverse x plus c we need to find this integration let us call this as i1 now to calculate i1 we are going to use integration by parts again so let's call this equation as equation number 3 and i1 as integration of square root 1 minus x square dx to integrate this we are going to use integration by parts for integration by parts we need another function let's let the function be 1 so 1 into square root of 1 minus x square dx function should be easier to differentiate so f of x will be 1 minus x square 1 you know the formula we have already written it so let's put this in the formula and calculate now the formula is the formula is integration of 1 minus x square dx is first function first function is square root of 1 minus x square into integration of second function integration of dx minus integration of integration of dx into differentiation of first function that is dy dx of 1 minus x square and dx now integration of dx can very easily be written as x plus c we need to differentiate square root of 1 minus x square this will be differentiated by uh, chain rule so first we are going to differentiate this square root and then we are going to differentiate minus x square so that we will get as square root we can write 1 by 2 square root of 1 minus x square and minus x square will be differentiated as minus 2x please let me know if you want me to make videos on differentiation using chain rules now we can put these two back in the above equation and calculate as integration of square root of 1 minus x square will be square root of 1 minus x square into integration of dx which is x minus integration of x into minus 2x upon 2 square root of 1 minus x square dx so let us simplify a little bit now this 2 and 2 will cancel each other and x into x square will become minus x square so we can write as x into square root of 1 minus x square minus minus x square upon square root of 1 minus x square dx does this term look familiar to you we have already seen this in the problem it is right here right here so we are going to use the same technique here so here we are again going to plus and minus 1 my plus 1 and minus 1 and group the numerator so you get x 
square root of 1 minus x square minus integration of 1 minus x square upon square root of 1 minus x square dx minus integration of minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square dx. So, you get x into square root of 1 minus x square minus integration of square root of 1 minus x square dx minus this is cos inverse x plus c. Now, we are what we are calculating if you see here if you see here we are calculating integration of square root of 1 minus x square and we have got the same term here, right. So, we are calculating, we are calculating square root of integration of square root of 1 minus x square and we have got this here. So, this term we can take to the left hand side and then we can simplify. So, if you take this term to your left, you will get 2 integration of square root of 1 minus x square dx equals x square root of 1 minus x square minus cos inverse x plus c. Now, we can take this 2 to this side. So, you get integration of square root 1 minus x square dx as x by 2 square root of 1 minus x square minus 1 by 2 cos inverse x plus c. Now, let us call this equation number 4. Now, we are going to substitute equation number 4 in equation number 3. Do you remember equation number 3? Equation number 3 was this. So, equation number 3 says x square by 2 cos inverse x minus 1 by 2 i 1. This is the part which we have calculated plus cos inverse x plus c. So, we are going to put the value of i 1 and proceed further. So, you get integration of x cos inverse x dx as x square by 2 cos inverse x minus 1 by 2 the value which we have calculated. So, x by 2 square root of 1 minus x square minus 1 by 2 cos inverse x minus 1 by 2 cos inverse x plus c. Let us open this bracket and see what we get. So, I want to write as x square by 2 cos inverse x minus x by 4 square root of 1 minus x square plus 1 by 4 cos inverse x minus 1 by 2 cos inverse x plus c. Now, we can simplify from here. We can take cos inverse common and simplify. So, we can write as cos inverse x upon 4, if I take common, this term becomes 2x square, this term becomes plus 1 and this will be minus 2 and this is minus x by 4 square root of 1 minus x square. These we can simplify. So, you get cos inverse x upon 4 into 2x square minus 1 minus x by 4 square root of 1 minus x square plus c. This is your final answer. I understand that this problem was a little bit lengthy. Please watch it again if you have to and understand it. We have got the final answer of integration of x cos inverse x dx as cos inverse x upon 4 into 2 x square minus 1 minus x by 4 square root of 1 minus x square plus c. The solution is very similar to integration of x sin inverse x. Watch that video also for better understanding. Keep, keep practicing. Let us meet in the next video.